Hey guys, Rex here, and today what I have for you is a very efficient, fully automatic wheat farm for your survival world. Now, as you can see, it is actually uh, infinitely stackable. One of these little modules here, you can put as many of them on top of each other as you want, as you have enough um, resources for, and how much your computer can handle, because there is a minecart in it, which may lag your computer if you have a a lot a lot of them but you'd need quite a few um, so what we have in here is a villager and he walks around and he will um, do the automatic farming for us and but you'll notice he leaves the wheat on the ground and the reason for that is his inventory is actually full of seeds so he can't pick up the wheat he can only pick up new seeds to plant again uh, if you're wondering why the wheat is growing so fast it's because I have my uh, random what is it called? Random tick speed set a little higher, so it obviously won't, the wheat, your wheat won't grow this fast if you're in a normal uh, survival world. Um, but I just have it like this to demonstrate. Um, so he will go around, he will leave the wheat on the floor. And then underneath the floor, we have a minecart going around. I don't know if you can see it there. We have a minecart going around underneath the floor. And that will collect all the wheat from on top of here and dump it in this shaft of hoppers here and it will go all, out, all the way down to our bottom the bottom here and give us some nice seeds and wheat but before we get started I do want to mention that this has to be built in the 1.8 snapshots or 1.8 or um, later versions because otherwise the villagers won't um, harvest the wheat and plant the seeds because that was a behavior added in 1.8. Um, you can actually build this in 1.7 and then use it in 1.8 um, but do not it won't actually work in earlier versions than 1.8. Alright so let's get right into how to build this thing. Uh, so first you're gonna start off with an 8x8 platform of solid blocks like this and then you're gonna put a hopper facing this way in one of the corners. It doesn't matter which corner, but if you choose a different corner, you're going to have to lay the rails out differently. And then you're going to lay the rails out just like I am right here. You're going to put one on top of the hopper, one here, and just keep going as I'm going here. So powered rails, um, like this, and then you're going to loop it around like so. Okay, and then you're just going to power all your rails by putting a lever there, and then you're going to go underneath and just oop, put a bunch of levers underneath where you put all your powered rails, and then you can pull all the levers, like so. And now on to the next step. So the next step is actually quite simple. All you need to do is come down to your hopper and place blocks in a pattern like so, oop, like this. So you got four blocks in a sort of zigzag pattern, and then you're going to place a comparator facing this way, coming out of your hopper, with a redstone torch and a piece of redstone, and that's going to power your rail here. And then you just want to put a hopper minecart back um, on the rail. So you'll notice that it will go around like this, and go around, and then when it comes back, it will shoot off again. But if I put some items in here, it's actually going to stop here until all the items are unloaded and then it's going to continue on its way. Next up, we are going to be placing our little tube of hoppers and chests that's going to go all the way up to the top. Now, you don't actually have to use hoppers and chests if you want it to look different, uh, but it's actually more resource efficient to use hoppers and chests. So beside this hopper here, you're just going to place a regular chest and then you're going to place a hopper, chest, and two more hoppers. Uh, you won't actually need anything above this chest if it is the topmost layer. So you can just leave out all the stuff if it's the topmost layer. So if you're only building one of these, or yeah, like I said, it's the topmost layer. Then you're going to come around down here, and you are going to place a row of blocks here that just go around where your minecart uh, tracks are, so you, that you can encase that, like so. Because we do not want any water getting into our minecart tracks because that will uh, flood the thing and obviously it will be a pain to set back up. So we're going to set, put our blocks like this and then we can fill in this area here with dirt. Like so. Oop. 
Okay, once you're done, you can come around again and add a another row of blocks around the outside like this. And here, you are just going to want to place one block here. And if you do not have a chest here, if you don't have the pipe, if, if it's the topmost layer, you're going to need another block right there. Um, but since it's not the topmost layer, we are just going to leave it as a chest. Well, it is actually for me, but um, I'm going to pretend it's not, so we're going to leave it as a chest. Then you're going to come around here and fill your trench with water. Pretty simple stuff. Just dump water in the entire thing. If you're in survival, um, you can... Uh, these are actually infinite water sources you're making, so you can use that to fill it all up. And then you are going to till all your dirt. With help. And once again, I do have my random tick speed increase, so that's why it's hydrating so fast. Next, you're going to want to come here and you're just going to build a two block high wall around uh, on top of your water here so that your villager can't escape because we don't want him escaping. We want him to do his labor for us all day and all night, uh, all the whole time he is in our Minecraft world. Um, but one thing we are going to want to do is light it up. You don't have to be using glass like I am. I'm just using glass so you can see the villager inside. But what you do need to do is find some way to light this up so that your crops uh, don't pop off. And one thing you could do, for example, is you could put just solid blocks on your second level and have torches. Or find any way you want to light up this area here. I'm just going to be using glowstone, so I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to gather up one of these brown robed villagers. It has to be one with a brown robe. It doesn't matter what it says in his uh, GUI here, uh -huh. his job, what, what that is, but what does matter is that he has a brown robe because that means he's able to yeah. plant uh, and harvest our wheat. Uh, you don't have to put him in a box here like I do, but what you do need to do is you need to find him. You need to make sure he has an empty inventory. So. Uh -huh. Because um, if he does have something in his inventory, it could screw up this uh, farm here. Uh -huh. So to make sure he has an empty inventory, I recommend you get one from breeding. Or if you're in creative like I am, you can just plunk one down. Uh, he won't have anything in his inventory. But yeah, get one from, from breathing or breeding. Or just make sure that he does not have anything in his inventory. Uh, he's never picked up any items. And then what you want to do is you want to completely fill up his inventory with seeds by giving him eight stacks. Let's do this. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I know that's a lot of seeds, but chances are if you already have a wheat farm, you'll probably have a huge excess of seeds. And the next thing you're going to do is simply plant all your seeds in here. And then you're just going to drop your villager down. And I'm going to have to replant this one uh, like this. Uh, but that should be your villager. And he is ready to start farming and giving you some wheat. So that is your entire wheat farm done. Remember, you can stack as many of these as you want on top of each other all the way up to max build. And you can build multiple towers if you want, if you really want that much wheat. Um, but if you are going to build a second layer, the layer with the minecart rails goes here. So this layer here with the minecart rails goes here and then you'd have the minecart rails on top of this layer of blocks uh, and then you just copy it up like uh, follow the tutorial or if you've got it memorized and you just copy it up and remember for the top layer you don't need these extra little bits here because obviously we there's nothing going to be coming in uh, but that is all I have for you today so if you enjoyed this video then please feel free to leave a like and please follow me on Twitter at NanoRexMC for more updates. But thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Rex out.